Hello. So this will be the last Lyra video, um, unless somebody asks me a very specific question, uh, wanting to know something. So let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, so this last feature is the external audio input. Um, personally, I find that I would much rather plug external audio into the pitch CV because uh, that's when you get like just wild stuff happening between the oscillators and the external audio. Um, what happens when you plug into the regular input on the back for external audio is you just get the top part. So we get, you know, the delay and the distortion, <clears throat> and then however the LFO is affecting the delay. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, as I was ex experimenting with this, I definitely found some issues to sort out, so I'll save you some trouble here. Um, if you're going to plug a guitar or a bass in, you need some kind of gain structure in front of the Lyra because it doesn't have enough output or doesn't have enough input gain to read a low volume thing like a guitar pickup. Um, I had plugged my bass in because I'm an actual bass player. Um, I had a lot of trouble getting the gain right and eventually I just really couldn't. Um, I've got a BFACO uh, instrument interface. Um, I find that it works much better with guitar. It seems like this input handles higher frequencies much better than lower ones. Um, and it handles audio recording types of stuff fine. Like you can plug a drum loop hit in here and it's totally fine. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's talk about some guitar through this. Uh, so first thing is, you know, delay. So we've got some, like a nice analog delay. <laughs> So not really an analog delay, I guess this is, you know, Soma's version of an analog delay. Uh, so it's um, sort of a digitally controlled analog delay. Um, and then, you know, where you have some fun is when you get into the mod, um, where we can create rhythms with this. Um, so if we turn the mod up enough and we're using square wave LFO to cause modulation. <laughs> So that's kind of more the fun part. It's like, you know, you can find pedals that do the, the first thing I played, but it's hard to find a, a guitar pedal that will do this wild modulation like this. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got some self... So that's using the ex the audio coming out of the delay as the modulation. <laughs> and you can go crazy with it. Um, personally, I found that the distortion is pretty gnarly. Um, so that's a fun thing to play with. And it's pretty noisy, too. <laughs> So for guitar, that's pretty great, uh, and it's it's different. You know, it's not your standard guitar pedal type um, distortion. Uh, so I hope this gives you some ideas. You know, you can plug drum loops in here. I was kind of experimenting with other synths plugged into this. Um, really, the magic for me is in the modulation on the delay because you can create rhythms um, that you can't really get somewhere else. Um, that's you know not a lira. Um, so I hope. Uh, this series has been helpful, and I'm going to move on to the next thing, and I hope everybody enjoyed.